is going on guys? It is Chris with 605 Brew Reviews, back with yet another beer review. And uh, tonight we're looking at Toppling Goliath Brewing Company out of Decorah, Iowa. This is their Fire, Skulls, and Money IPA. Uh, just a quick note on this one, comes in at 7% ABV, IBUs aren't given, even on untapped, and so I'm not sure, I would imagine it's up there though. Depends. Um, details on this one, it says, inspired by a trip to the west coast, designed to capture the wild spirit of adventure and brewed to be enjoyed with friends. This rich IPA is for those with wanderlust in their heart and fire in their eyes. Join our Citro, Mosaic, Galaxy, and Nelson Hops on a journey to the bottom of your glass. So, it sounds like not supposed to be a hazy IPA, but that's a lot of real, hazy, real juicy hop varieties, though. True. Uh, but anyway, we'll crack this open, get it into a glass, let you guys know what it looks like, smells like, tastes like, give you our final verdict on the Toppling Goliath, Fire Skulls, and Money. Alright guys, so the appearance on the Fire Skulls and Money. It's pretty hazy. Almost like orange juice. <laughs> I mean, you cannot see through it at all. It's kind of a murky juice color. Almost like pineapple juice, I guess is what I'd yeah. say. About a half finger of a tightly packed head. Not quite as as, as uh, hazy as some of the Northeast stuff. I mean, it's, it says it's West Coast inspired, so hopefully we should be looking at more IBUs then, but we'll see. I mean, I don't see many West Coast beers that are this cloudy, so no. uh, let's go ahead and dig in. Aroma on the Fire Skulls and Money. Goodness. Oh, definitely grassy. Oh, yeah. Grassy, vegetal, dank. The, the galaxy really comes through in the nose. Do you get some like uh, pineapple kind of mm -hmm. juice, uh, mango, grapefruit? Yeah, mango from get, the, yeah. get the mango quite a get bit. Get the tropical fruit smell out of it. Almost like a citrus rind Peach. kind of bitterness, like when you juice a grapefruit or something like that. Kind of make them a mouthwater though. After <laughs> <laughs> well, should we dig in? All right, guys, flavor on the Fire Skulls and Money. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. It's very grassy. Woo! So yeah, it is pretty juicy, though. I mean, you do you get a lot of this tropical flavor through. I don't know if I would say, I mean, it says West Coast inspired, right? Yeah. But I don't get hardly any bitterness out of it, which mm -hmm. is what you would see typically with a West Coast IPA. I'd but say it's not as crazy grassy as most any IPA, so. I would say up front, I definitely get that grassy, dank, I don't know that I'd say catty, but almost. <laughs> uh, and then big time, like, pineapple juice. Mango, all those tropical fruit juices kind of blended together and then kind of dries out middle of the mouth and you get that lingering citrus close, at least for me. What are you guys getting over there? I would agree with you on, on that. You know, definitely hit that, that vegetal kind of point right away in the beginning. And then that mellows out and goes into the tropical fruits. Pretty juicy. Yep. Tyler? It's pretty juicy. It's <laughs> grassy and me, but I did get the bottom, so. <laughs> me, yeah. uh, it's pretty grassy for all of us, oh, I think. Yeah. Alright, guys, so the final verdict on the Toppling Goliath, Fire, Skulls, and Money. 
Somebody you want to go? It's probably probably B minus to me, just because that and that comes from like complete personal preference. I, I don't think it's poorly done or anything like that. It just uh, I'm not really a big fan of like the real grassy, um, lightly bittered IPAs. It's just not my thing. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's a poorly done beer either. So people that like that style, I think it's going to be good. Uh, it is way juicier than a lot of the similar styles. Uh, I, I agree with you, like the vegetableness falls away and that helps the beer a lot, I feel mm -hmm. like. So. Um, I'm going to give it a B overall. You know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the, the huge, bitter, hot bomb kind of IPAs. So to me, if it didn't have as much of that grassy vegetable part in the beginning, it was just more of the, the fruit coming through. I think I would probably give it a little higher rating, but I mean, it's a good beer. I don't mind it one bit. Tyler? Probably get a C plus, just out of preference. I just, it's a little bit too grassy for me. Too much of that green yeah, kind of vegetable. All right, I can see that. There's definitely people who don't like that flavor. I know when I first started trying IPAs, that was like one thing I absolutely hated was just that green, you know, kind of plant flavor. Um, for me, I think I'm with Kyle on this one. I'd go B. Um, I love the juice flavors. I love those tropical, like the pineapple, mango, uh, those kind of juicy notes. I wish it did, as you said, kind of start off that way instead of that big pop of like grassy uh, type of flavors. But uh, as you can see, guys, kind of a, a little bit of variation across the board here. We got a couple Bs, we got a B minus, we got a C. Plus? I don't remember. C plus. <laughs> <laughs> C plus or C, we don't remember. Uh, but in any case, guys, if you've had this beer lately, comment down below. Let us know what you think. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.